Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to take you on a morning in my life as a busy cardiology fellow. Now, I'm currently in my first of a three-year cardiology fellowship and also a new dad, so my mornings are really where I try my best to have some sort of routine. Normally, I try to wake up between 4.30 a.m. to 5 a.m. And as you'll see this morning, my entire routine is dependent on what time my daughter wakes up for her next feed. So with that being said, the first thing I do each morning is make the baby bottle as well as starting my stretching routine while keeping an eye on the baby monitor. And I can already see that my daughter is starting to swarm around it potentially wake up so I just have to keep on moving. By the time that I finish my stretching routine I realize that she's already fallen back asleep at least for now. So then I rush to get into my workout for the morning and I grab my headphones and water bottle from the office. And then I, and this has to be one of my favorite investments we've made into the new house, I walk one room over to the garage gym. Now since time is so precious driving 10 to 15 minutes to and from the gym is simply not an option. So now I just get my workouts in the comfort of my own home. But since my wife and I take turns or shifts for my daughter I have the morning slots and feed which means my workout can stop at any time if she chooses to wake up. So I have to make sure that when I do get a workout in that they're efficient and effective. So I usually will have a workout routine of two supersets of two to three exercises together. Today will be a combo of squats, pull-ups, followed by another superset of dips, abs, and jump rope. And while it'd be easy to claim that I could use an extra hour of sleep, I'm a big believer that if I'm going to be in a field taking care of others, I should start with myself first. And as you can see in here, by the time that I'm done with my workout and my breathing, within 15 to 20 minutes, I am absolutely gassed and I got that work in. And by this point, I check again on the baby monitor and realize that my daughter is still asleep thankfully so I move on to the next part of the routine. And with the workout behind us currently it is 5 15 a.m and my baby is somehow still sleeping like a baby so thankfully time to move on to the next part of my routine and hit the showers. While the water is heating up I also use this time to track my progress and numbers like my weight. And after a nice well needed warm shower I finish getting ready. Next I move on to making some coffee for myself. I often put my favorite cups and mugs on the higher shelves. My wife is only 5'3 so she really doesn't have much use for these higher shelves. So I try to put my favorite things there first. By now I've realized that my daughter is not intending to wake up so I go ahead and put that baby bottle back into the fridge since she decided to be an angel and remain asleep. Next, while the coffee is brewing, I will then spend about 10 to 15 minutes doing a combination of praying, meditating, and reading. This is a nice time for me to just be grateful for another day and all my blessings. By now the time is reading 6 a.m. and we've now gotten our stretching, our workout, our shower, our prayer sessions are all behind us. Finally time to enjoy that cup of coffee. One of those things being terrible of keeping up with my water takes so I've been recently forcing myself to take a nice gulp of water with my morning coffee. This combo also helps delay my first meal of the day so for whatever reason if the hospital is really busy when I walk in I don't have to feel like hunger is something that's going to get in my way. So by now it is 6 15 and this doesn't always happen but I actually have the opportunity to get some work done in the office. And today I realized that the office is a complete mess so I decided to take five to ten minutes to clean up. And after that cleaning session hopefully you'd agree that this looks much better. And on the note of being in my office if you don't have one already one of the most important things that I have in here is this massager that I've attached to my office chair. I use this baby about 15 to 20 minutes while working in my office and it works amazingly great. I'll go ahead and link it down below in case you're interested. Today I spend that time writing emails for our upcoming newsletter. If you're interested, our link down below to our free success handbook with 60 plus tips that I've already shared as well as access to our future ones. Once my emails are done, I then transition to some academic responsibilities I have for my fellowship. As part of being a cardiology fellow, one of our responsibilities is presenting in various conferences. Today I'm actually presenting a talk on pulmonary insufficiency or pulmonary regurgitation from a case that I saw during my echo month or rotation. And this talk is almost done, but I go ahead and spend about 10 to 15 minutes adding some final touches and references. And now the clock is reading 7 a.m., which means time to finish the rest of the coffee as well as get ready to leave for work. And remarkably, my daughter is still asleep. Usually this doesn't happen, but we're going to try to stay quiet and finish getting ready. So I grab a clean pair of scrubs for the day and quickly magically get them on. Yep, that looks much better. I then start getting ready to leave, which I have my own tiny routine for, one of which is leaving a small note for my wife. Usually this ends up being a quote, a joke, I also do a lot of puns, but it's just a part of our routine to make sure that we're understanding that we're each thinking of each other despite having a busy life and now a new daughter. Next I'll quickly unload the dishwasher and try to clean the counters, making it two less tasks than my wife has to do while being home all day with our daughter. By this point Kobe, our dog, is usually wide awake so I let him do his business outside while I gather the rest of my stuff. And since he's such a picky eater, if you're a dog owner you know when he's eating you just stand there in one place and watch him finish. By the time that this tiny routine is done it is now 7 30 and time to leave for work. And the last part of my morning routine is my actual commute, which for most days is about 35 minutes. I'll try to use this time listening to podcasts and books about medicine or cardiology just to get into the mode for the rest of the day. But hopefully you guys all enjoyed this morning routine. If you want more of my life as a cardiology fellow, as a cardiologist, let me know in the comment section and support the channel and the video by hitting that like button. If you're interested in any of our free resources, including how to study better, as well as our 60 plus tips that I wish I got my first day at med school, definitely check out the free resources linked down below.
below in the description. And if you enjoyed this episode and video, then go ahead and check out this entire video of my day in the life as a cardiology fellow, as well as this full breakdown of why I picked cardiology in the first place. As always, my friends, thank you so much for following me on my journey. Hopefully I was a little help to you guys on yours, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.